Job, our manager, Rudy Funk, and we didn't get a chance to do an interview after Tuesday's game, so you just want to start there? Uh, yeah, so you're referring yourself to the Eastwood game. Uh, we made our preparations right, we arrived in a good mood, but obviously after two minutes we found the, you know, trend sent off, and then game just changed. And fair place to Eastwood, uh, they played some lovely stuff, you know, on the result speaks for itself. Um, after the game, we just bend it straight away. It's just one of them one-off games, and uh, we're moving on to the next game, which was the FA Cup today against the Peter Rangers. And now we'll move on to today's game. It was a disappointing way for it to finish, and conceding an injury time. Well, uh, some, uh, I think, I think the lads and everybody involved in the club should be proud uh, what they've achieved. I mean, how they battled and how they tried to get back into the game, and which they did. Uh, you know, which was a great, great delivery from uh, uh, Tanner, and uh, obviously, uh, you know, we equalised uh, with Fabio. <coughs> and then the game was like backwards and forwards. Uh, I think we did have the upper hand, but uh, they scored in injury time, and you know, that's the FA Cup, and that's the beauty of the cup, and we're out, and we we'll have to concentrate on different things. And we've seen Chris O'Grady at his debut today. What did you make to his performance? Oh, Chris, Chris is just, just an absolutely privilege to work with. Um, the very first thing, on I hope our young players learn very quickly of him, not on the pitch, off the pitch. A gentleman, you can speak to him, uh, the aura and the respect which he carries, you know, is just, just incredible. And then you've seen on the pitch, you know, his hold up play, how he brings players into play, how he communicates. And that's probably the reason why, uh, obviously, uh, Miguel knows him well because he played with him at Sheffield Wednesday. And uh, then I sat down, we've had a chat in this very office here. And uh, one thing which actually amazes me about Chris, his desire his desire to make younger players better, to improve them, and give him, give him that experience, that knowledge and the know-how, what he's accumulated over all these years. And I, I, I cannot but say, which is absolutely incredible, and I respect him even more for that. And another player who played his first game today and got his first goal was Fabio, and it was a brilliant head from him. Well, yeah, I mean, Fabio is a young player. Um, we've had a, one or two issues to sign him on for various reasons. And at the end of the day, he featured in the game and he scored his goal. But yet again, he's a very young, talented player. And uh, I keep on saying that week and week out because we've got so many young ones. Uh, but at the end of the day, I'm sure he'll get uh, better and improve as time goes on. And now we move on to Skegness next Saturday. Well, we definitely have uh, obviously Tuesday and Thursday time to uh, be on the training ground. And I mean, John and Miguel, they've already, we just had a little bit of a chat what we want to do and so on and so forth. So it's again the preparation. But I keep on saying that, and I probably will say that for the next couple of months, please do not forget where we have started this season. <laughs> uh, three days before the pre season, we didn't have a player. And look what we've got today, you know. So I think we're making slowly but surely progress, but it'll be a very, I think, long and patient uh, scenario. And then, Chef, so that, Rudy.